Alright, I'm going to give you a quick rundown using A&E &E, uh, just to get you started. You have to get loaded up and everything settled with uh, the software. When you go to plug in your truck, you're going to notice the three lights down here. You're going to have uh, red, ye yellow, and green. Green's not on right now. Green will be flashing. Let me just turn off this flash. Green will be flashing, which it's not right now because I'm not on. So you're going to uh, go into your A&E. going to load. Uh, you're going to set the. You're going to set your truck. Uh, what vehicle you have the year. Uh, and okay. Now, for some reason, with my truck or setup, whatever, it uh, it doesn't take the first time. I actually, like, I won't have. I won't be able to uh, go into any of my live data. It's all blank. See. So uh, what I got to do then is I go into vehicle up here, I disconnect, go back into vehicle, I want communication configuration, and then I'm going to, what I do is, all I got to do is just go back into can, hit can again, and then hit OK. And then I'm going to go back up to vehicle. I'm going to connect and it's going to do like the normal setup here but then you're going to see a blue uh, blue bar going across it's going to load up all the enhanced uh, sensors alright yeah there's the year Ford alright I'm going to hit OK and there's where it's going to start loading the sensors this is for the powertrain version It takes about a minute to load up. Loading, loading, loading. <laughs> Almost done. Now, if you notice, when I come back down to those three lights, there's a green one that's going to start flickering once I'm all in. Oops. Hold on. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm not going to, yeah, I can check codes right now. I can bring up all codes, hit all. And it'll spit out a uh, list of whatever you have codes thrown. Alright, so I'm going to go up back into live data. And I should be able to see my list of uh, powertrain came. All right, let's uh, let's just go with uh, VGT. Easy one to do. Oh, uh, wait a minute. My bad. That's the fan. <laughs> There's the one I want. All right. So you got the VGT there. Down here, you'll see the green light flashing now. That's a good sign. Now, down the bottom here. You can command to turn things on and off. So I'm going to scroll down to VGT. There it is. I'm going to give it some throttle. You can maybe hear it. All right. And you can see up here on the live data. Now I'm going to click on the VGT down here. And here, look. See how I went to zero? My exhaust almost sounds like a Dodge. Kind of funny. But uh, you can also go back over here to VGT. 
click on that little sucker and you can close them right now they're fully open and it takes about a second or two up oh, there it goes see that it's a full cycle now listen all right uh, let's go back out of that and all you gotta do is check it off there it goes. Now it goes back to the normal cycle. So that's uh, that's a real quick view of the turning things on and off. And there's some things on this list you won't be able to do and you can do. And like I said, there's a whole buttload. That's something you're going to play with. You're going to have to learn what normal is, what not normal is. Uh, you got the graphs down here. You got four graphs and two graphs. Bring that up. Live data four graph. But I also like this live data grid. Because now, I already got VGT on there. It just transferred over. Uh, you can go over here and you can start putting them on too. And you can change the units and the value. I don't know if VGT has one right here. That's yeah, percentage. Sometimes you can change, you know, from PSI to uh, whatever, MGZ, whatever that is. Or, But uh, yeah, you can still do down here and control everything down here on the command. Now you do got... You want to check other things like say uh, your trans, your trans uh, you want to monitor everything. Back in the vehicle, you want to go changing system. And you'll be back on this little screen pop up. You're going to go over to the side uh, right here. And this is going to let you go into other parts of the system. Airbag, analog brakes, uh, there's your power control, powertrain, overhead trip. But uh, here's your trans on the bottom. Give it a click. Hit OK. But yeah, the ABS will let you uh, go in and change your tire size for you guys that have the bigger tires. You can actually change it to make the speedo correct uh, up to 40 inches. All right, sucker's loading. Don't take long. Almost done. Alright, I don't want to pull it. It's the same codes, it just does the whole system. Alright, now I go uh, bring up the live data. I'll go ahead and show you a trans temp. Let's see here. You got a list here. Transmission fluid temperature. Bam. And let's go and do the volts. Volts. See that? Now, like I said, over here in your uh, your live data grid, you can change change what you want to see. Fahrenheit, Celsius. Uh, I don't know if this will show me millivolt, not just volt. Okay. Yeah, but down here you also got your controls, your commands. What you can turn on and off. Same thing. Uh, that's about it I can think of right now. You got your record. It'll save it as a file. Uh, if you want a SC, CSV file, uh, you're going to need like Windows Excel uh, to convert it so it's all nice and fancy in the chart form. You'll end up with something. Let's see if I can bring it up real quick. Uh, here we go. This is when I was, uh, that's what it's going to look like without the without the Excel. This is when I was testing out Bulletproof Diesel's water pump. I was taking uh, readings and dialoguing it. But uh, let's see here. I'll see if I can find one here. Here's a water pump Excel. Let's pick, uh, there we go. That's good. Come on. Spreadsheet. Oh, yeah, yeah, shut up. See how it goes nice, neat columns? You can arrange it. So you can view it later. It records the whole thing. I'll scroll down real fast. Bam, 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 bam. But 
that's a quick uh, quick start for you guys who are just starting out. The more you play with it, the easier it's going to get. The only thing I can recommend is start saving anything you find on the net that's useful information on what's normal, what's not normal. And pay attention to them Ford techs when they uh, start answering questions, especially when it comes to sensors. Uh, a lot of information there on what's good and what's bad. All right, catch y'all later.